Hello Libras! Happy, happy July 2016. This is the Lily Sky Tarot deck. So let's see what we have. I'm pulling three cards this year. So let's see what is in store for you guys. So this is a general reading. And if I see the same cards pop up that another zodiac has, maybe that's your rising sign or your north node, you can watch those videos and, uh, and in ending up watching three videos on the channel. So I would like to let you know that the new moon is in Cancer on the 4th of July, July 4th, and that's a great time in the waning moon to get rid of things that you feel you don't need anymore, maybe even make a list of encouragement of things that you need to get rid of. It could be settling debts. Uh, it could be clearing out the home. And then the full moon is July 19th. And that's in Capricorn. So that's a great earth grounding balance sign where you can get your mind focused for goals that you need to accomplish. So let's see. All right, Libra. You have Justice, Queen of Swords. Someone else had Queen of Swords. And the Strength card. Okay, so it must have been Cancer because I didn't write it down yet. I'll rewatch the video and write it down so I have it here. So the Justice card. So the Justice card, and all these three cards will tell a story. So the Justice card is letting you know that, and I'm looking at the other two cards. Well, I'll let you, I'll read this one first. So justice is obvious, it's justice. It's finding that you've been right in a situation, okay? That you feel the outcome is the right outcome in a situation. Then the Queen of Swords is saying, be strong, be your own leader. You are in control of yourself, be your own boss, mentally, physically. Okay, you don't have to literally be the boss at work. It's not about that. You're a boss of yourself, your energy, the way you present yourself, the way you act. Um, so this is it, Libra. It's the balance. And, and Libra, you, you know, you're justice. So <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Justice, okay? So that's your card. And the Queen of Swords, again, is saying that there's strength in your voice. And in the card, we have books here. So you fill yourself with all these now knowledge and then using the throat chakra, the voice, you know, speaking your mind and, and um, knowing when to speak and when not to speak. So there's power in silence, there's power in speaking. And we have the butterfly symbol on this card, which represents transformation, time for change. There's a time for everything, time and place for everything. And the lion in this card represents strength, okay? Now, the strength card is, of course, strength, okay? And it's also a Leo card as well. So if you happen to um, be Leo rising and you're matching up your zodiac with the cards, it's also great for people out there that love tarot and, and study it and, and uh, know what the different cards mean and how they relate to the zodiac signs. So Libra, we have the justice card. Okay, which is your card. So you're feeling right now that you might need to push yourself more to uh, make yourself succeed in something. So don't push yourself to succeed in something. Just believe in it and it will, things will work out the way that it should. So the Justice card is reminding you that you're the only one that can bring yourself balance and peace. So don't feel that you have to go out of your way to prove anything or to do anything. Then we have the Queen of Swords here, which is reminding us of our voice. Our voice is very, very powerful. And this card is reminding us that we can be our own leader, okay? And I feel like a lot of you Libras have this quality of being your own leader, but don't let it get to your head so much. Um, in a negative way, use it in the most positive way. And being your own leader, you're, fi you're finding your own strength again, because sometimes 
we build ourselves up and we feel pumped about it and something's happened and it kind of brings down our mood. So try to keep yourself on the same level and maybe this is a time where you're finding your strength again. So if you happen to be going through a court case, I feel like this is saying that, you know, you have found your strength, whether you felt like you won the case or not, you're still feeling strong about it because maybe there's another avenue you can go and, um, and, and receive your justice through, through the system. So there's other things that you can do. And if you've won the case, then boom, that's it, you've won the case. And you can either go forward with other things or not. So this is the energy of the reading. It's a very powerful, encouraging one. So if you have lost your, your drive to get things done, if you've lost your way, you've kind of stepped away from it, you're not that encouraged to do things, this reading is like amazing because you have the justice card, which is like balance and winning. So it's like, okay, I can do this. And the energy that you put into things also matters, right? So the Queen of Swords, this is reminding you of your strength. And even if you're a guy that's a Libra and you're having all these uh, this feminine energy, it could be like a approaching it in a more uh, feminine way, in a softer way. And it's still powerful, but maybe the way that you present yourself and you're acting it's not that aggressive. It's just like, okay, all right. And then you do, you know, you go through the process and do what you need to do in a powerful way. And the strength card is reminding you of your strength, your strength that you've had throughout this situation. Sometimes stepping away, getting that break, doesn't mean that you're not powerful, you're not strong. It was what maybe you needed to do at that time, and now you're back. So these are your three cards for July. I hope you enjoy your reading. I will put these up on the Facebook page and I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys for the support for the channel for the last three years and happy July.